Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be doing this week's Problem of the Week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's Problem of the Week asks you to prove the following statement, that for all n, where n is some natural number, greater than or equal to 4, n factorial is greater than 2 to the n. So it looks like, you know, often when we have factorials and stuff like this, it's probably easiest to prove using induction, mathematical induction. So that was my first thought when I looked at this. And so I'm going to go ahead and go through this proof using mathematical induction. So the first step to doing induction in this case is going to be uh, testing the base case, which, in this, which here is going to be where n is equal to 4, because here n is greater than or equal to 4, so we don't you know, test n equals 1, for example. So OK, so when n equals 4, we're going to plug in n right there. So n factorial is going to be 4 factorial, which equals 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And if you do that algebra, it, this is equal to 24. OK, so now we need to find 2 to the n. So 2 to the 4 is equal to 16. And we know here that 24 is greater than 16. So this holds. Our inequality holds. So we're going to go ahead and assume that this holds for some n, where, and we're going to call it our induction hypothesis. So now we need to test n equals 1 to determine that this is true for all n greater than or equal to 4. So we're going to go ahead and start from the left-hand side here. We're going to plug in n plus 1 into n factorial. So we're going to take <clears throat> n plus 1 factorial, which we know is equal to by the definition of the factorial. It's going to be equal to n plus 1 all times uh, n factorial. So we know, from, we know from up here that from our induction hypothesis that n factorial is greater than or equal to 2n. That was what we assumed from the beginning. So therefore, we can make this inequality here, uh, n plus 1 times n factorial. We can say that this is greater than n plus 1 times 2 to the n. Because we know here, if we just think about this, n factorial is greater than 2 to the n. So n factorial times n plus 1 is going to be greater than n factorial times 2 to the n. You, you know, another way of thinking that about that would just be multiplying both sides of this inequality here by n plus 1. So, and also kind of another clever little trick here that might not immediately occur to you is that we know that since n is greater than or equal to 4, um, just write this here, since n is greater than or equal to 4, which is what we're trying to prove uh, from the beginning statement, we know that n plus 1, so 4 plus 1 is always greater than 2, or 4 greater than or equal to 4, always bigger than 2. So we know that n plus 1 here is always going to be bigger than 2. So I'm going to go ahead and say here that this, that we know, I'll just copy this down here, n plus 1 factorial uh, is going to be greater than, I'll just copy that down over there, from over there, n plus 1 times 2 to the n. So we know that n plus 1 factorial is also greater than uh, 2 times, because n plus 1 is always greater than 2, n plus 1 times, or 2 times 2 to the n. And we know that 2 times 2 to the n is equal to 2 to the quantity n plus 1. So that finishes up this proof, because we can see here that we have n plus 1 factorial is greater than 2 to the n plus 1, which is the same as our initial expression here, our induction hypothesis, with n plus 1 plugged in instead of just n. So that will go ahead and solve this proof here. That's one method of doing this, probably the easiest method of mathematical induction. So for more Problem of the Week videos, you can click on our playlist here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click on this link here. And to visit us at centerofmath.org, click this link down here. Thank you for watching.